How are you all this evening? All right. I don't know where my wireless mic went, so bear with me for a second. Welcome to the Bishop McCourt Spring Concert. We have uh, quite a good variety arranged for you guys. Uh, first up, we have our middle school string orchestra. We have a couple of Lucas helping us out on the drums. Eric's helping us out on the bass. And we have the high school behind. Um, our first number up, I think you guys will recognize, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, enjoy. piece we have spring fever planned and Mrs. Arcurio was so um, so kind to help us with the keyboard over here. Thank you Mrs. Arcurio. There, do you want this one instead? <laughs> Thank you. 
right, this next number we have planned is uh, Seven Nation Army. It seems to be one that they really enjoy playing, so why not throw it in on the end? Um, they make fun of me sometimes because my favorite word seems to be dynamics. I preach on it, I preach on it, preach on it, and I just want them to do it. dynamics. We go soft, we get loud, it really adds a little flavor to the music, so that's what we were just talking about. So let's see if you guys can notice some dynamics in the in Seven Nation Army. Especially, uh, what's SF, SFP, what's that stand for? What's it mean? portion of our concert. Can I have the middle school students stand up for another round of applause? So for the high school portion of the program, we're going to run it pretty much as what it is in the program. Last night, I decided to flip the last two, but um, other than that. So the first number we have up is La La Land. So during, during the whole virtual and snow days and Google, Google classroom days and all the, all the crazy, crazy years we had, some of the assignments I posted was, um, you know, tell me about your favorite composer. Tell me about a piece that you would like. Tell me about a piece that you could see, see us play. So RJ suggested La La Land. Um, so I looked back in the closet and it happened to be there or Mrs. Smithman sent it to me. I don't remember which, which one, but either way, uh, we found it here in McCourt. So that's going to be our opening piece for the high school.
for our next piece, um, we're playing an arrangement of Ave Maria. It's featuring our uh, senior, Jen. Um, for now, I'm just gonna let it at that. This is a huge space to fill, by the way, so we're trying to really listen real close to each other. We're gonna make it work. <laughs>
seeing as it is Jen's senior year, I got her some flowers. I figured I'd do it after her little solo that it's been before. <laughs> you know, I didn't have a whole lot of time to get to know you, but it's been a blast. You know, it's a bunch of so Deb has been a great help here um, with us. She is in the orchestra, she plays for the band, she did district orchestra, district chorus this year. She's also part of the Johnstown Youth Symphony. Um, we have a couple other players in the Youth Symphony. Lauren, why don't you stand up? Evan, why don't you stand up? There's one more. Come on, stand up. So these are all our Youth Symphony players. She kind of guided me into filling her shoes, if that is even possible. So um, this is kind of, it was a nice chance just to kind of have her here just, just to get her to kind of get the proper send off since everything got shut down in March last year. So she's here to, to play with us. So why don't you stand up? I mean, if we're going to the beach, we may as well do it right, yeah? Yeah, all right, look at that. That's, that's better, yeah? <laughs> all right, now we can do it right. <laughs>
the orchestra portion of the program. Now we got band up. So please stick around. Let's hear it for the band.
Uh, yes, uh, good evening. So this is, will be the middle school band portion of the concert. So uh, first piece, and actually only piece, we're going to scratch Jurassic Park, and I'll explain why in a second. But first piece, Star Splitter Fanfare, is by a composer by the name of Brian Balmages, who may not sound familiar to many of you, but he's quite famous in our world of the, the wind band repertoire. So if you go to any sort of county band, all state, whatever kind of band concert, I guarantee you've heard some of his music before, but he's also written some middle school pieces, so we're going to play one of those for you now. So we initially had the theme from Jurassic Park planned, and we were going to play that oh so well. And then we discovered that there were lots of other things going on around town tonight. So if you see the, the 22 names of middle school band kids in the program, there's about 11 here right now. So rather than try to fill out, fill out the full sound with that, we decided we're going to save that for next time. So one more round for our middle school band students, please. While they leave the stage, we'll let some of our high school band get, get set up. So in, in place of Jurassic Park, uh, Mr. Shawley already introduced our students from the, the Youth Symphony. Their concert was this past Sunday, and they played the famous folk song Shenandoah. And our students liked that arrangement, so they decided they wanted to find one of their own and perform it on our concert. So it's some of our upperclassmen. So if you guys want to get set, we'll fin finish this half with that one.
Uh, one more round of applause for that group, please. They put that together mostly by themselves, minimal help from their teachers. So, excellent work, All right, we're gonna plug some things in and then have the high school portion of the concert. from Shaft from the 1971 motion picture of the same name. Uh, that song is very famous for not only being the theme song to a movie, but it also won the Academy Award for Best Original Song. 
at the Oscars that year and also made Isaac Hayes the first African American to ever earn that distinction. Uh, featuring Eric Rhodes on the guitar. Another round for him, please. And Tom Dahl on drums. So like Mr. Shawley, I, I sent the students a, a survey at the beginning of the semester saying, hey, what should we play, especially seniors who didn't get to last year and should get to say this year. And that piece was requested by Tom, and you could tell I think he enjoys playing that one. Um, I, I sent that out. Tom is, for those of you who don't know him, is great at what he does, but normally a pretty uh, soft-spoken guy. But when I sent that out and said, what piece should we play, I was very surprised that he wrote back in all caps with four exclamation points, theme from Shaft. So there you go, Tom. <laughs> so next up was a piece. Oh, yeah. The next chart is, this was requested by our, our bass player, Hayden Jeffries, back there, who has an appreciation for all things jazz. So he wanted to play a Miles Davis chart. So I, I found this one. This is called All Blues from his 1959 album titled Kind of Blue. And this one features our saxophone players. Thank you. 
once again, that featured actually our trumpets and our saxophones and Hayden Jeffries on electric bass. Up next, one that really needs not much of an introduction other than I, I was trying to decide what pieces we should put on the concert, and it, it came the time of the year that every teacher loves when the principal comes and watches your class. So I thought it would be a good challenge for the students that when Mr. Smith came, we would sight read a piece for him, which for those of you not in music, sight read means sight unseen, per perform a piece. So top to bottom, without having any prior practice, we're, we're, we're gonna play it. So, and Mr. Smith came and they did a fabulous job, and since then we have polished it a little bit, so don't worry, it's not sight unseen right now. Uh, but so after, after that practice, I said, you know what, we should, we should tuck that away and maybe pull that one out for the concert. And so we decided that would be a good one. So here is theme from Titanic. So as the last speaker, I have the distinct privilege of getting to share all the thank yous. So e even though these words are coming from my mouth, trust me, Mr. Shawley and everyone else involved uh, echoes these sentiments. So uh, first of all, our administration here at McCourt, so uh, Mr. Smith, the principal, Mr. File, uh, 
Dean of Students, uh, Mrs. Bradley, Dean of Instruction, um, the maintenance staff here, I, if I could remember all their names, I'd thank them individually, but those guys are champs. Uh, Mrs. Luna for printing the programs and essentially making the school run on a day-to-day -day basis. Mr. Miller, uh, IT professional extraordinaire, running the live stream for us. Uh, again, another shout out to Mrs. Smitherman and Megan and Mrs. Philippin for filling in for us on short notice. Let me see what else. I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting. Uh, oh, thank you, the audience. I know I, I, I can speak for myself. This, this is the first time in a long time that I've actually been able to, you know, like dress up and, and go somewhere. And so, may, and especially with, with everything that's gone on all this year, thank you for not only bringing your students here, but coming to join us in an evening in live music, which for me was the first time in a very long time, and maybe for some of you as well. Um, speaking of which, uh, students, please thank your parents, like, get, get, get. and grandparents and brothers and sisters and first cousins once removed and everyone else who came to see you this evening. So w without them, I mean, when you leave today, be sure you tell them thank you for transporting you to all the lessons and making sure your double bass fits in their car and all those sorts of things. So please thank your parents on the way out tonight. I should recognize uh, my own seniors, uh, especially I, I took over this job last year. And uh, unlike a lot of other classroom teachers, I know other subjects do get close with their students, but in the arts, we have the unique pleasure of we are the only music or the only instrumental teachers in, in our entire district. So we're very fortunate that we get students from fourth grade and get to see them all the way till they graduate. Now, that's a very special thing, but when I'm the new guy, some of these kids, I am their third band teacher since they started in fourth grade. And that can be really tough for some of these kids, and it's a testament to these guys, their attitude, their character, all of those things for the, the minute I showed up, nothing but respect. So I would like to in introduce all our seniors. So on alto saxophone, Darius Shaw. Stand up. Uh, flute, Anna Edmiston, Sarah Romancic. Grace, Hayden Jeffy, give away a wave. Percussion, Tom Dahl, and piano, Jennifer Kiss. It's noted in the program, these guys have all sorts of accomplishments from district band, region band, county band, region band's the best, uh, but uh, youth symphony, all sorts of things. We, we got awards for you guys, they're just not here yet, so you will have tangible proof of all the cool things you've done, it's just at, 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 at a later point, so I apologize for that. I, I think that's everything. Please enjoy the last piece, our last chart on the concert is going to be uh, September by Earth, Wind and Fire, again, no real introduction necessary. Uh, thank you for coming out tonight. Please enjoy your evening.
surprise for our teachers. Mr. Shawley, come up here. Mr. Albright, come up here. Not only have they given us a wonderful school year, but for all the circumstances, we want to appreciate them. Okay, so for Mr. Shawley, this is his very first high school concert, and with everything happening this year, with us being virtual and us meeting a new orchestra teacher, I'm just really thankful to have him. We're all super thankful to have him. So let's give a round of applause for Mr. Shawley. <laughs> sick and he came and jumped right in. He's, he may not be a flute player, but his first task was to help Sarah and I learn an entire musical and he did so good with that. So thank you. Not only did he help us with that, but I can vouch to say that I have not always been as confident in my playing as I should be and he definitely helped with that. So I would not be the player I'd stand, blue player I am today without him. So thank you. So even though Mrs. Arcuria isn't here right now, we just want to thank her because she puts together all of our masses. She puts together our musical and she puts together everything. We did district chorus this year and she's helped us out so much with that. So let's just give a round of applause for her. You know, she's not here. <laughs> education and they've just helped me so much with preparing for my college auditions and everything along the way they're the two teachers that really inspired me and I just really want to thank them oh I remember so sixth period has been our favorite class of the year I just wanted to say so that's all we don't know what we're gonna do I know we we're sad we're not gonna know what to do that's with ourselves class. <laughs> also, when Mr. Albright came in, I always wanted to do like county band and district band and stuff, but I never got myself out there, and he's really pushed me to get myself out there, and he's also helped me prepare for college auditions, and I probably would not have done half the things I did without him, so thank you. Thank you all for coming.